For poultry farms across Europe and North America, there are few words as devastating as avian flu. It's deadly. It's a, it, it, the pathogenic forms of avian influenza, including H5N1, are it's, it's a very severe infection with a very high mortality rate. The saving grace has been that this virus, while deadly, didn't spread easily beyond birds. And while human cases are still rare, birds are no longer the only ones getting sick. And that, experts say, is a growing source of alarm. People are concerned that the virus is the H5N1 or the avian species of influenza is becoming more transmissible. Much of this concern stems from a recent outbreak on a mink farm in northwestern Spain. The outbreak happened back in October, but in January, genetic sequencing revealed these animals had been infected with a new strain of H5N1, one that seems to allow avian flu to spread more easily mammal to mammal. So the way influenza works is like COVID, it continues to change, but it has a, a unique mechanism where if two different flus infect the same animal at the same time, they can actually mix their genetic material and a brand new flu emerges. It's why the scientific community is watching the virus closely and calling for an increase in surveillance of animal health worldwide. The concern is if it's more easily transmitted between mammal hosts, could it be, could it jump into humans and could there be mutations that facilitate transmission? On the heels of COVID, that's not something anyone wants to see. The good news is work on potential avian flu vaccines and antivirals are already well underway. So that if this virus does change to become a greater global threat, the world won't be caught so unprepared. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.